Okay, so with this I'm, I'm going to go over it as firstly a block chord progression, then I'll go over the bit at the end, and then I'll go over one or two other things. So to start off with, what the song is basically doing is it's going from E minor, G major, F sharp minor, back to B minor, G major, E minor. And it has one or two changes throughout, but to go through that, so first chord is B, B minor 9. So that's B is in the left hand, D, F sharp, A, C sharp in the right. Then G major 7, so that's G is in the bass, F sharp, B, D, F sharp. Then F sharp minor, so F sharp's in the bass. F sharp, A, C sharp, so that's F sharp minor 7, then back to B minor 7, so that's again B's, and then F sharp, A, D, F sharp, then G major 7 again. So that would sound like this. And you can potentially walk up here in the bass when they move into the beat. So to start it again. So that's that's more or less how it would sound as a block chord progression because of course you can like for example with the first chord you can either play it with a ninth or with a bow. you could invert it several different ways same with the second chord you could add the ninth you could add the D in there if you wanted to you could invert it but more or less that's uh, that's the song as a block chord progression now the only other thing I'd like to say is that there's one point where it plays B minor 9, G major 7, and then instead of going to F sharp minor 7, instead of doing that it does this. It goes to D major 13, so that's D is in the bass. So once more to run through this. Then you could play it the other way. Yeah, from what I can hear that that D major chord it plays once in the track. Anyway, more or less, that's the song as a chord progression. Those are the chords that play throughout the song. Now, the bit that I'm going to be going over is the part at the end of the track where the instrumental completely cuts out and it's just the piano playing. The chord progression that I just showed, this will be two loops around that and an ending on top of that. So, to start off with, the first bit of this will be this. Okay, so that starts with a B in the left hand and an F sharp in the right. The left hand's gonna play F sharp. Then you're gonna glisten.
ascendal from this A to B in the right hand, like that, whilst playing a G in the left. Then once you get to this point, the left hand is going to be playing D, F sharp. Same melody again. D, C sharp, D, coming back to C sharp with F sharp in the left. Then left hand's playing C sharp, A, right hand's playing A. hand's gonna play this E for all three and the right hand's just gonna make slight changes so first chord the right hand's playing E and A then the right hand's playing this A and E again and then playing all three of those notes A again so that first part again it'll sound like this now with this first part this part I would recommend listening to the track just to get the rhythm down of how to tap these three chords. Anyway, so the next part will be this. in the left hand so it's going to be going B, C sharp, B and in the right hand it's just going to be going from this diminished chord to that one so first one E, G, C sharp then G, B, E and then to B minor F sharp, A, B, D so from the E minor chord And also, if you're using if you're using the pedal for this part, I well, this is what I thought at least. I would have thought you would have. 
I thought you would have released and then, you know, released each card. But you just, to me it sounds like from what I can hear that the person playing just holds it down. So this third part again, or the second part, sorry. between the left and the right hand so after playing that E, F sharp, then E, then C sharp and F sharp in the right hand, then E again, then E minor in the right, so so far. Then the right hand's gonna continue with the melody. F sharp, E then you're gonna play E, D, e, and D e at the same time. So that again. Right hand's gonna be playing after that. D, e, D, e, D, e, C sharp, D, e, sorry. And then just after you play this D, e, that's when the B is gonna come in. It's not gonna come in at the same time, it's gonna come in just after. So that part again. Because once you come to this chord, the right hand just starts playing straight away, there's no delay. So the third part again. Last part. So D in the left, D in the right hand, B in the left. Left hand's gonna be playing F sharp D. Right hand's gonna tap D again. Coming into a G major nine chord. So G in the left hand. some chords, tap in F sharp with B, then F sharp with D, coming into E minor 9 again, so that's E, E, D, F sharp, D, And then the last part of this will just be the ending, which I'm going to move the camera for slightly. Okay, so from the start of the fourth part. You know, 
wrestling this E minor chord for a little bit and then you're gonna tap C sharp three times and on the third time it's gonna slide down the group of notes so tap it twice and then on the third time it's gonna slide down from C sharp C E you're coming into a F sharp 7 chord so that's F sharp E in the left hand and B flat in the right and then you're gonna walk up with both hands so now it's gonna the left hand's gonna play G sharp octaves and the right hand's gonna play Then E into this B minor chord, which pretty much ends it, which is B is in the left hand, F sharp, B, e, B in the right. So that again. Again, once you get to this part, I would have thought that you would release between. Chord, but to me it sounds like the person playing on the track just holds it down until they get to that B minor chord and then lastly all that's left after you get to this final chord right hand plays D F sharp left hand crosses over plays this F sharp then the right hand crosses over plays this chord F sharp E, F sharp, A, E, E, and then the left hand plays D, essentially creating, I think a B minor 11 chord, so you play that chord, then play that like that, so you tap that chord and then play that B immediately after. And that's pretty much it, I'll just go through it once, slowly. And the only other thing I'd like to mention is that for that first part Make sure with this part once you play that, that you practice it so these notes are smooth B e to C sharp and then when you hit that, those two notes are together and not um, played sloppy so uh, well, at least that's something that I struggled with when I was learning this, so... Once you've play, you played that last chord, you know, get your right hand there early, and then practice playing this slowly so those notes are clean. But other than that, that's, that's pretty much it.